In the annals of classic television, one series stands out as a pioneer in the realm of police procedurals, Dragnet. Premiering in 1951, this iconic show starred the no-nonsense Jack Webb as Sergeant Joe Friday, a detective with an unwavering commitment to solving crimes in a city fraught with moral complexities. Webb's portrayal of Friday became synonymous with the stoic, methodical approach to law enforcement. Now, the question arises, which classic Hollywood actor from Dragnet was your favorite? Webb's portrayal of Friday garnered widespread acclaim, but the supporting cast played crucial roles in bringing the show's gripping narratives to life. Perhaps your allegiance lies with Harry Morgan or Ben Alexander, both integral to the series' success. Before we delve into the intricate web of Dragnet's storylines, we're curious what is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. Share your stories and recollections in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. As we unravel the narrative threads of Dragnet, let's set the stage with some random facts about the show. Did you know that Dragnet's format, inspired by real police case files, laid the groundwork for numerous crime dramas that followed? The show's signature dun-dun sound effect and documentary-style approach left an indelible mark on the television landscape. In the coming exploration of Dragnet's impact and legacy, stay tuned for insights into its cultural significance and enduring influence on the crime genre. Now, let's hear your Dragnet tales and experiences in the comments section. In its second season, Dragnet faced challenges when Barton Yarborough, the original partner of Sergeant Friday, passed away. This led to an alternating schedule as filming struggled to cope. Ben Alexander eventually stepped in as Friday's new partner, Frank Smith. The series' impact extended beyond television, inspiring the fictitious Badge of Honor series in La Confidential. Sergeant Jack Vincennes, a character in both, had a connection through the catchphrase Just the Facts. Additionally, real-life LAPD debt. Hale Lindo, a friend of Jack Webb, influenced some episodes with his experiences on notorious cases. Debt. Hale Lindo, one of LAPD's first Hispanic cops, contributed to the show's authentic portrayal of crime and lab. Friday's badge number, mirroring Babe Ruth's career home runs, became iconic. LAPD retired the number after Jack Webb's passing. This subtle tribute spoke volumes about the show's impact. Not just a TV hit, Dragnet infiltrated pop culture, even making its way to Mad Magazine as the humorously titled Dragnet. However, its influence wasn't confined to satire. The series often embraced an unexpected fashion statement, with characters donning shades of orange, ranging from tangerine to burnt pumpkin. This unique touch, worn by characters of diverse skin tones, added an intriguing layer to the show's visual narrative. From LAPD's retired badge to unexpected fashion choices, Dragnet carved its mark in both serious and lighthearted spheres, proving its enduring relevance in television history. Art and Yarborough, Friday's original partner, faced health challenges during the production of the third episode. Expected to return, he tragically passed away from a heart attack upon completing the episode. This unexpected turn prompted a shift in the series, with Ben Alexander stepping in as Friday's new partner, Frank Smith. The show's resilience in adapting to unforeseen circumstances echoed its commitment to delivering gripping narratives. Transitioning from Yarborough's departure, it's noteworthy that Joe Friday and his partners, across both the original and sequel, used the radio call sign 1K80. This code, denoting police headquarters and investigative services, added an authentic layer to the series. The utilization of such codes reflected the procedural accuracy that Dragnet brought to the portrayal of police work. Beyond its impact on television, Dragnet's influence extended to real-life LAPD connections. Raymond Burr, for instance, portrayed the LAPD chief of detectives Thad Brown. This casting choice emphasized the show's dedication to realism, bridging the gap between fiction and the actual workings of law enforcement. As we delve into the layers of Dragnet, from the unexpected loss of Yarborough to the meticulous use of radio codes, and the incorporation of real-life figures, the series emerges not merely as a crime drama but as a testament to the intricacies of police procedures and the resilience required in the world of law enforcement. Jack Webb's iconic portrayal of Sergeant Joe Friday in the 1951 TV series left an indelible mark on American television. Beyond its gripping narratives and realistic portrayal of police work, Dragnet became a cultural phenomenon, 
One notable testament to its impact came in 2009 when the U.S. Postal Service issued a commemorative stamp honoring early TV programs. Among the distinguished shows, Dragnet found its place, featuring Jack Webb as Sergeant Joe Friday. This recognition underlines the enduring influence of the series, cementing its status in the annals of television history. Jack Webb, the driving force behind Dragnet, went beyond the screen with his book titled The Badge. In this collection, he delved into stories deemed too controversial for television adaptation. The exploration of themes like violent murder, rape, and child molestation showcased the series' commitment to pushing boundaries, even if certain details were sanitized for television standards. The series not only resonated on screen but also produced two million selling hit singles. Ray Anthony and his orchestra recorded the theme music, simply titled Dragnet, in the summer of 1953. Meanwhile, comedian Stan Freberg, along with co-writer Dawes Butler and June Foray, reached one on the charts with a three-minute speaking satire titled St. George and the Dragonette. These musical achievements added a unique layer to the series' cultural impact. In essence, Dragnet transcended the confines of a crime drama, leaving an enduring legacy through postage stamps, controversial narratives, and chart-topping music. Its influence, captured in these diverse facets, solidified its place as a pioneer in early television. Titled Badge 714 in certain reruns, Dragnet, the iconic 1951 TV series, left a lasting mark on American television. In a unique move, the show's episodes were repackaged under this alternate title during syndication, a common practice in early television. This strategy, also employed by the Andy Griffith show with reruns as Andy of Mayberry, aimed to distinguish between original airings and reruns. Even in modern DVD releases, some Dragnet episodes carry the Badge 714 moniker. Midway through its run, Dragnet achieved a groundbreaking milestone in American TV history. A theatrical spin-off was produced, marking the first instance of a TV series spawning a movie while still running. This dual accomplishment set a precedent in the industry, showcasing the show's influence beyond the television screen. Adding an intriguing layer to Dragnet's narrative is the involvement of real-life police officers in shaping the series. Notably, Gene Roddenberry, the future creator of Star Trek, contributed story ideas. This connection to actual law enforcement figures underscores the series' commitment to authenticity in portraying police work. In essence, Dragnet's impact extends beyond its gripping narratives and realistic portrayal of law enforcement. With alternate titles and reruns, a pioneering movie spin-off, and contributions from real-life officers like Roddenberry, the series solidified its place as a trailblazer in the realm of early television. As we lower the curtain on this journey through the enigmatic realms of vintage television, I encourage you, dear reader, to let the echoes of Dragnet stir within the corridors of your nostalgia. The 1951 TV series, a masterclass in unraveling mysteries and unearthing the human condition, has undoubtedly woven itself into the fabric of your memories. As the credits roll, I invite you to traverse the corridors of your own recollections. Perhaps it's the haunting theme music that reverberates through the years or the stoic wisdom of Sergeant Joe Friday that resonates within your reflections. What vignettes from Dragnet's black and white tapestry have imprinted themselves upon your soul? In this vast theater of shared experience, your thoughts become the encore, the encore that breathes life into the enduring legacy of Dragnet. Drop your musings, unravel your anecdotes, and let the resonance of your connection amplify the harmonies of this timeless tale. So, here's your cue to share what whispers of Dragnet linger in the recesses of your consciousness. What lessons from the mean streets of yesteryear still flicker in the dimly lit corridors of your mind? Your stage awaits, and the spotlight is yours. Thank you for embarking on this expedition through the annals of classic television. Your presence, like an attentive audience in a crowded theater, adds depth to the narrative. Until our paths cross again, keep the embers of Dragnet glowing in the sanctum of your memories. A symphony of nostalgia.